Warning, this video contains flashing imagery and is included in good faith to better illustrate the concepts explained in this video. Please take caution if you have medical conditions making you sensitive to such imagery. Hello YouTube and welcome back to Friday Minis. Now, you've probably experienced this at one point of time or another. You're happily shooting video, you bring it back home and you watch it on your computer and you realize there is this irritating flicker. Now, what's going on here and are there any ways we can actually prevent this from happening? Now, the answer to the first part of that question is, well, it's because of your lights. Your lights are actually flickering. And you might actually look at your light now and tell me, no, you're a big fat liar, it's not flickering. Well, it is. Here's why. Electricity is actually transmitted to your house in the form of an alternating current. What this actually means is you are not getting a steady current. You're getting a current that's going up and down, up and down, up and down. And yes, what this means is every time it peaks, your light is at its brightest. As it goes down, your light actually switches off for that fleeting moment. Why don't you see it when you're looking at a light? Well, the reason for that is it's happening really quickly. Depending on what country you're in, this is happening either 50 or 60 times per second. The correct way to actually talk about this speed is of course using Hertz. That is, power line frequency of 50 or 60 Hertz. And this is why your camera can see it. Essentially, your camera when shooting video is shooting however many pictures per second. Normally 24, 25, 30, or if you're using a high speed mode, 60 or even higher. So actually, if your camera is taking photos out of sync with the light, essentially, sometimes it will take a photo when your light is fully on. Sometimes it'll take a photo when the light is half dim. A mixture of frames taken when it's light and when it's dark will actually create a flickering effect. Is there any way to prevent this? Well, if you are actually using a camera that allows you to change the frame rate, use something that is a multiple of your power line frequency. What this means is if my AC is coming in at 50 Hertz, I should ideally shoot at you know a frame rate like 25 frames per second. Alternatively, if you don't wish to actually go down into such details or if your camera can't actually do that, there are still things you can do. For example, for these two lights that are shining on me right now, essentially when I went to the store, I brought my camera along and I tested it against every single light that was there and picked out the lights that didn't flicker. Why do they not flicker? Actually, I have no clue. It's just based on experimentation that told me that they don't flicker. And well, if in a last resort you are left with a piece of footage that is ruined by flicker, well, there are still some things you can do in post-processing. For example, there's actually a virtual dub plugin called dflicker, which will actually try to remove flicker by blending in neighboring frames. Anyway, that's all there is for this episode of Friday Minis. As always, don't forget to like, comment, favorite, subscribe, and follow me on Twitter. You're watching 0612TV.